All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at a Playmobil City action set. This is the police station with alarm system. Comes with officially 260 pieces and that includes four figures. You get a two-story police station main building here. That's the jail over there with just one single structure that's raised up. Like I said, it comes with figures and comes with a bunch of accessories for your figures to use and a lot of detail on the inside. So most of the stuff you're going to see in this set is actually inside. On the first floor, when you walk in through the door, there's a desk here that's like a reception area, also used for dispatch. As you can see, it's got a computer screen there with a, with a flat screen display. It has a map up on it. There's also a little PA uh, microphone. A pair of binoculars are on the desk right now for a figure to use. There's a plant back there and then here's where we start with a bunch of the accessories for the figures to use so a bunch of batons a couple of flashlights there a couple pairs of handcuffs a megaphone and a set of keys to use with the jail cell section upstairs and of course you can move these things around there are other places where you can store uh, accessories and things that can be moved around different parts on both floors a little bit of roll-up cabinet doors right there and then a bunch of files are put up on a shelf right there. To access the second floor, they do give you a full set of stairs. So it's kind of a half spiral that'll let you move your figures up and down. And then up here, you've got your booking area. So there's a desk with the computer on it that has some information about the criminal who's just been caught. You've got the scale for height back there because the photograph is being taken. There's a camera right there, which is on uh, it's suspended from the ceiling and you can kind of move that around. There's also a light. You can move that around to, to kind of uh, you know, imagine that, that just the right light is being put on them. You can also see what the camera is seeing in real time so you can get a preview of that. A little small little filing cabinet section over there. There's a, a, a whole stack over there in this interesting little bin of different files and these are actually showing different criminals and they have the picture of each one on there. You put those on with stickers and they have their own fingerprints. So you can actually go through those and see the different criminals that are available at this time. And you can match them up, all the different ones that they're, they're looking for. And each one will just kind of fit into a small little slot in the bottom so you can kind of go through these almost like a Rolodex of bad guys. And like I said, you've got different places where you can put shelves. So this is another wall here where you can put those same shelving elements from down below. You can put some of those up here, just rearrange them how you want. On the other side, by default, there's a, a gun case or gun cabinet and these are locked. You actually do have to turn the handles to get them to open up properly and you open that up and it just has a rack on the inside again using that same system so you could put different things in here different uh, different shelves and right now i just got a whole bunch of rifles that are lined up there and then over to the side here you've got your single jail cell which i like i like how it's set up it feels kind of realistic you've got a, a kind of a lockable latch right there which allows you to access the sliding door inside <laughs> the only thing that's inside they don't have a toilet in here unfortunately they just have just a bed but this is actually where the the fanciest feature of the whole set is housed your criminal once locked up can discover an area of the floor that can kind of be shifted and moved around and then he can get some help from the outside from one of his buddies who's not included in this set who can toss up on the roof and over the edge here a nice line for him to use so he can open that up open this here find a way to wedge that open and just remove that bit of the the floor right there just bust right through it and then use the hook on the end of this line it gets thrown to him he can just hook that around the bars of the the jail cell stick that on down there and then he'll use the handhold right here he figures to escape just hold on to that so, you know, because it's this is a second floor, so he's not able to, to just jump. That would be too dangerous. But puts that on, gets right through there, and this is where the fancy feature comes in. This is the alarm system, and if you have the alarm system active, and he tries to go down there, here's how it looks from a lower angle as he goes through. 
So the alarm system is armed from this button up here by the roof. When it's red, you know that means that it's active. This is the speaker outlet where the sound was coming from. And this just has a little motion sensor, a very simple motion sensor that's facing towards the inside. So when your figure passes by, it senses that movement and... The last details on the outside include lots of railing. There are some antenna details up on the roof. There are some, some ladder bits so you can actually get to the roof. You can get up to the, the top level of the jail area. You can get up to the, the roof of the main structure. Another little plant is included, kind of a, a climbing vine type of plant in a small planter. They do include that bike and the little bike rack to go with it. And there are just some nice little Little entrance details, the little steps and little globe lamps off to the sides. Of course, you can open the doors and it uses stickers to give you the police sign on the front. And there's also one on the back. And these nice clear blue windows, unfortunately, are a little bit scratched in the package, but they look pretty nice. And overall, the, the whole thing looks larger to me. Oh, yeah, a couple of, of security cameras up here that you can angle around. But yeah, it, it looks a lot larger to me in person than it did on the box. When I looked at this whole thing on the box, it just felt like it was going to be kind of small and, and very flat, you know, not very deep, but there's definitely more going on here than I expected. And here's a closer look at the four figures included here. So three police persons and one criminal. This one here in the middle, I think is supposed to be like a, a SWAT team member. And then the other two could be whatever you want them to be. One could be doing like, like traffic duty or it could be out on patrol. One of them could be captain. One could be, you know, both of them could be just working around the, the office. Uh, it, it, however you want to, to set that up. They give them distinctly different uniforms, but they'll kind of randomize those a little bit throughout all of the, the different uh, sets for the, the police, little police sub theme. I do like that one of them has printing on the back. I always appreciate that that little extra detail and the rest of them don't but all of the police people here have the the handgun with the the holster and two of them have id so they can flash their their badges when they're walking up to to do an inquiry or an arrest so that's the police station with alarm system i feel like this does give you kind of all of the the bare minimum needs for a police station all the the major areas that you need and the, the again the, the size of it is a little bit more impressive than I expected it to be just from looking at the box. It does come in in a large box but the pictures really don't do justice to the overall depth of the whole thing so I'm a little bit happier with this than I expected to be honestly. It does leave a little bit of extra room for some other figures to be posed around doing guarding of the jail and and just kind of being on, on lookout and such. And it does give you room to park one vehicle down underneath the jail, well, one car, uh, in addition to at least a couple of, of police motorcycles. So it does allow for a little bit of expansion, just adding on other things from, from other sets that, that will integrate with this. But the whole thing still doesn't take up too much space just by itself. Overall, I feel like it's a good, efficient use of the space and gives you a a decent value. I don't think the alarm system is all that great and I think if that adds a lot to the to the price that part not, might not be entirely worth it but it is a good little play feature to add in for that one escape route otherwise you're mostly you know, kids are mostly gonna end up using it I think uh, just manually just setting it off manually. Let me know what you think about this set, what you think are its high points and its low points. Just leave a comment down below. Your feedback is always appreciated. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.